Hey, it's Mark Queens. I am in Saigon, Vietnam, and I'm sitting down for my first bowl of a famous Vietnamese noodle noodle soup dish called Bun Riu. This restaurant was recommended to me on YouTube, uh, so thank you very much for recommending this spot. I'm already loving the atmosphere and the, the beauty of this dish. I think it's a crab-based uh, like paste. Uh, I think they make they make a paste from the crab from crab, and then that's used to flavor the soup. There are so many chunky and colorful ingredients in this soup. I think these are these black things look like uh, some kind of a snail or shellfish. Then we've got big um, meatballs. I think these are just big chunks of regular pork. Um, this I think is crab like roe, maybe crab roe or something like that. And then we've got some big chunks of blood jelly and one of the signature uh, flavors of Bun Riu is the tomatoes. So this is also full of tomatoes, and then there are some noodles down there at the bottom as well. And then I think it's seasoned, uh, garnished with just some uh, coriander, Vietnamese coriander, and then it comes with the, the signature blend of Vietnamese herbs and vegetables, their bean sprouts. I think that's morning glory shredded up. I think that might be uh, banana flour. Okay, let me just grab a spoon. It's nicely sheltered by a little little uh, yellow cloth spoon. I just want to quickly sample the broth, uh, just to see how the broth is uh, without any seasoning. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. It's so... It's so smooth, um, but it definitely has a crabby, kind of shrimpy flavor to it. But it's a little bit sweet, and it's a little bit, um, wow. That tastes like just like crab has been boiled down for hours. And then that's the broth. It's like crab broth. That's wonderful, with a hint of tomato flavor in it. Oh yeah, I think this is shrimp paste or crab paste. Oh, oh yeah, that is some intense, shrimpy, fishy flavor smell to it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to add it to the noodles or not, but... Um, and then this is like a... I have no idea what that is. It looks like melted butter. Oh, I think that's tamarind. That's nice and sour. Oh, I think that's... Oh man, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna add some some of this. Maybe two scoops of that. That tastes like sour tamarind water. And then I'm gonna squeeze in some lime as well. I just asked the, the waitress. She said I can add a little spoon of this to my... I'm all for it. Stick that in. It's okay? okay. You never want to eat anything without chili, that's for sure. Okay, let me stir that. Stir that in a bit, get that shrimp paste and chili. This is looking wonderful. All right, I want to try that. I think that's crab roe. I want to try that first uh, with some noodles. almost tastes like crab flavored spaghetti. That's wonderful. And then I'm gonna... Tomato. Mm. My next step, I'm gonna add in a bunch of these vegetables. Some bean sprouts. And I think that's morning glory. And then... gonna toss in some of these beautiful herbs. This is the key to Vietnamese cuisine.
another thing that's great about this restaurant is they also have small fresh bird eye chilies. Oh, that's awesome. This is a pretty good sized meatball and I think it would only be worthy of chasing it with a, with a green chili afterwards. It's one of the better meatballs I've ever had. It's like a hot dog ball, but with more texture to it. Oh, more of a bouncy texture. I bet if you threw that on the ground, it would actually bounce off the ground. That is very good though. Okay, another part of eating bunryu is that it comes with nice chunks of, of congealed uh, blood. So this is like uh, blood jelly. Here's a nice good chunk and there's even a chunk over there as well. It's good. It's um it really is kind of flavorless. It's it's yeah, like a it's like a a bouncy piece of jello. My slab of crab roe got a little bit disintegrated into the soup, but let me try a bit. Oh, that is so rich and creamy. Oh man, with just a little bit of a bitter flavor to it, and then that's marvelous. That was an extremely satisfying bowl of noodles. I really loved that. Uh, the balance of flavors was beautiful. The broth had a, just a wonderful crab flavor, and then slightly sweet, I think just from the tomatoes. Uh, but then add, I added that, that sour tamarind, as well as lime juice, and then uh, both the red chili and the fresh green chilies, and then all those herbs. Oh man, everything, everything, the sum of all those ingredients is an absolute beauty of a Vietnamese noodle dish. I, yeah, I absolutely love that. Um, everything about it, that was wonderful. I am extremely happy. Uh, my mouth is rejoicing with flavor and huge thank you for recommending this restaurant to me. Um, this was awesome. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I'm gonna see you on the next video for Saigon Street Food.